Hey guys, Sonny Carter here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the different coping styles that you can have in your marriage and your relationship, how it can affect you, and exactly how these coping styles relate to specific core messages that could drive your behavior. So we're going to get right into this YouTube channel, and if you struggle with actually uh, coping a certain way, uh, maybe you shut down emotionally, maybe you attack um, your spouse when you get into a fight or an argument, um, maybe you completely surrender and you kind of conflict avoid and you don't want to deal with it, then um, whatever your coping style is, this is going to be very helpful for you in this video. And if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel as we put out more valuable content and tips like this to help your marriage actually thrive, not, suggest, not just survive, and to help you overcome the mental and emotional barriers that keep people stuck and blocked in their life and also in their relationship. So the first thing you have to understand is these three coping styles that I'm about to explain to you. Um, pretty much exists in every relationship um, and I don't know of anyone who are, doesn't have at least one of these coping styles and when we get triggered we tend to um, go to, to one or three of these coping styles so I'm going to talk about the first one real quick and the first one is um, avoiding coping style okay this is the flight this is the person who wants to avoid situations um, wants to avoid conflict they shut down emotionally they don't want to talk um, and they pretty much want to avoid whatever core message is triggering them, okay? And we'll get into core messages in just a second. Um, so that's the first coping style. And the reason it's important to know this coping style is because when you get triggered, um, you want to first, you, you want to be aware of what you're doing, okay? So if you get into a fight, somebody triggers you, um, and you know your, temp your temptation right now is to avoid the situation, um, to shut down emotionally, not say anything, not talk, not communicate, then you need to catch that. You need to realize that this is how you're, how you're coping with something. Um, and you need to realize that, you know, even though coping sounds like, oh, it may sound like a good thing, like I need to cope, I need to deal with the situation internally, um, it could be harmful to the relationship, okay? And this is actually one of my um, coping styles. I tend to avoid and shut down emotionally um, when we get into a fight or when I get hurt. Um, the first thing I, I do is I go inward, okay? Instead of outward and communicating and talking and expressing my emotions. That's the last thing I do. And so I know that about myself, right? It's all about awareness, right? The first step of change is why awareness. Um, and then second is understanding, right? So I'm aware of the fact that I avoid, that's my coping mechanism. And then the second part of it is understanding, okay? Understanding, okay, why am I avoiding and what am I avoiding? And that goes back to the core message, which we'll talk about in a second. The second type of coping style is, um, <clears throat> is uh, surrendering, okay? And this is a coping style that tends to... Uh, uh, want to surrender to the other person and, and kind of have peace. Um, you don't really blatantly avoid the situation, um, but you just kind of give in, okay? You're kind of more surrendered, even though inside of you, um, you're not completely resolved. You're not completely, um, uh, you haven't completely dealt with your struggle emotionally and mentally about the issue, okay? Um, you just kind of surrendering so that you can keep the peace and there's no conflict, and everyone's happy, but inside of you, um, you're not happy, you really want to fight, you really want to, you know, get into this argument, you really want to um, talk about it, but you're just, you know, surrendering to, to it, okay? Um, or that core message as well. Um, the third type of coping style is a counter-attacker, okay? So, uh, which is a fighter. And this is a person who basically just wants to duke it out, man. They're like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> You want to fight? Let's go. Like, I'm ready, right? So this is someone who wants to, like, go after it. They want to fight. They're going to attack at all costs. They're going to keep attacking um, because they've been hurt. They've been threatened. And they want to just go after it, okay? And so typically you have a couple with uh, two different coping styles. Occasionally you may have a couple with the same coping style. Uh, my wife is an attacker, okay? So she's a counterattacker. So when she gets hurt, she wants to attack. And you can imagine me, I'm an avoider, right? So I'm like avoiding and she's behind me like, you get back over here, we need to finish this conversation. Like, <laughs> and so those two coping styles tend to exist a lot more than having two counterattackers. But but we know our coping mechanisms, right? So we know that anytime she's attacking, she can catch herself. Anytime I'm avoiding, I can catch myself and we can deal with issues and conflict and resolution just because we know the type of coping style that we have. And she knows I'm an avoider, so when she can see me shutting down, getting quiet, 
she knows there's something wrong with me. Whereas before, she may just thought that I was quiet and I was just to myself and whatever. She just maybe thought that I had something at work um, bother me or whatever. But now that she knows and she's more aware of my coping style, she can check in with me and say, you know, you've been awfully quiet. Suddenly, like, are you okay? Anything wrong? What's the matter? Um, and she can kind of draw that out of me, okay? Um, so, so sometimes coping styles just can get the best of you sometimes. I'm not perfect. Um, even though we can be aware of our coping styles, sometimes I can still give into it. Um, but again, communicating and letting our spouse know exactly what our coping style is. Um, the times that I do give into it, my wife can come and help me. And me allowing her to be my helper is a powerful thing. That's going to allow her to feel included in my, in my life. Um, it's going to allow me to humble out and it's going to make her feel like she's contributing to my growth. Um, let's talk about core messages, okay? So core messages is basically um, the habitual thought patterns that are stuck in the back of our minds. It's a story, um, it's a core message that's running and playing kind of like a, a broken CD player or a scratch CD player. It's playing in loop and it's causing us to uh, behave a certain way, it's causing us to get triggered. And um, I'll give you an example, okay? So for example, there's a, um, there's a core message of abandonment okay and this is actually a core message that i struggle with um because i grew up with a single mom um she worked like three jobs my dad was never around um and so even though she didn't technically abandon me um she was never there okay she was always working and and for good reason she needed to take care of three boys which is not easy to do three hungry three hungry boys might i add um and so she wasn't really there to nurture us emotionally which which brought up a whole different uh, core message and like i won't get into today but um, because my dad wasn't around, because she wasn't around, um, and because I was neglected emotionally, um, as a child, I don't really have the capability to reason, right? But I can internalize that message. I can internalize that people who love me will eventually leave me. People who love me will not be there for me. Um, and so growing up as an adult, these internal messages come to fruition. They, they kind of sprout and take on its life and it causes us to get tr triggered and behave a certain way. Um, and so anytime my wife would do something that would trigger my abandonment, okay, that core message that's telling me that people who love me will leave me, people who, um, people who love me will abandon me, people who love me will not care for me, people who love me will not um, support me and give me the care that I need, right? This message I was playing in the back of my mind, this core message of abandonment, okay? Um, when that message was triggered, my coping style was to avoid it. You see that? So anytime I had a coping style of, okay, someone who loves me is gonna leave me, I'm gonna avoid that situation, okay? If I'm feeling like my wife is giving me a message that people who love me is gonna leave me and that she's not gonna care for me, I'm gonna avoid that core message. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna do everything I can to avoid um, that core message that's telling me that I'm gonna be left or I'm gonna be left alone, okay? So I'm not, it's gonna prevent me from getting close to her because I don't wanna get hurt, right? It's gonna prevent me from being vulnerable because um, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of being hurt and left alone, okay? Um, it's gonna cause me to be distant. It's gonna basically protect me, right? It's gonna cause me to, to guard my heart um, because I wanna avoid, okay? That's my coping mechanism. I wanna avoid ever having to deal with the pain of being left or being not supported um, or being not cared for, okay? Which came from my childhood, all right? So that's how the core message ties into your coping styles. So when you get, uh, when you get triggered, first thing you gotta do is say, okay, what's my coping style? My, do I wanna attack this person right now, all right? Do I wanna just straight out jump on their back, right? Do I wanna avoid, okay, the situation? Or do I want to, or, or, or am I just surrendering, all right? So surrendering so coping style would say, okay, um, instead of me avoiding the core message of being abandoned, I would surrender to that. And I would say, okay, you know what? I will be left eventually. I will be abandoned. And so I would believe that message. I would buy into it. And so what happened is I would allow that, that message to make me depressed or sad if, I, if my coping mechanism was surrendering. But it's not, it's avoiding. But if it was surrendering, I would um, allow that core message to take place and take root in my life. And it would bring depression. It would bring sadness. It would bring, um, it would, I would bring sub, I would self sabotage relationships because I would eventually believe that this person is going to leave me. Okay, um, and I would surrender to that. 
And if I'm an attacker, then I'm going to attack that core message of being abandoned. So I'm going to fight that message that I will be abandoned. So I'll be controlling. I would be, I would let, I'd never let my wife go anywhere. I would, um, you know, be jealous every time she talks to um, uh, someone who's a male. I would, um, I would basically make sure and fight and prevent her from ever having to leave me, which would actually cause her to leave me. And then that would bring, that would actually validate this core message that's false and it would just go in the cycle. And I would keep doing that every after relationship, right? Um, so again, you have, we have to be aware of our coping styles. We have to be aware of the core messages that are dominating uh, in the back of our mind that's causing us to get triggered. And then most importantly, we have to be vulnerable. We have to talk about these things. We have to share with our spouse um, what we're going through, what we're feeling, um, revelations that we're having about ourselves, and the core messages that that um, we realize exist in our lives based on our past experiences. We have to journal to get in touch with our, these things because these are things that drive our behavior. It doesn't, it, it doesn't just affect our marriage. It affects every area of our lives. It affects how we deal with people at work. It affects how we deal with our children. We can pass on these core messages to our children. Um, it can affect how controlling we are with our children. It can affect how fearful we are with our children. And these core messages can literally dominate our life and affect us in every other way. Um, and we need to find out what that core message is. And most importantly, we need to take steps to weaken this core message. And the way you weaken it is by exposing it in the light, journaling, um, talking about it, and taking proactive steps um, to not get triggered, to be proactive when you are triggered and not reactive. So you can communicate better with your spouse, these core messages. You can communicate with your spouse about your triggers, your coping style, and uh, you can forge a deeper love connection because of it. So. Um, was that helpful guys uh if it was give me a thumbs up hope you guys got some benefit from that and um if you like more videos like this subscribe to my channel um, shoot me a comment below and let me know what your coping style is uh, let me know if you know of some core messages that you are struggling with or dealing with if you have any questions i'd love to answer them in the comment below this video and um appreciate you guys watching have an amazing day and i will see you guys on the next video take care for now bye